Hey guys, Centurion here. Um, new setup, I suppose you could call it. I just want to quickly touch over the most recent ban list coming 25th of September. So it's a bit over a week away. First thing you'll notice, nothing's happening. Bam. Arise Hearts banned. This is, everyone's pretty much seen this coming. But what does that mean? So, Castro was a big check for some of the threats in the metagame, for instance, Tier Element. So, with this ban, this now gives Graveyard Stonk decks a, um, a rise in, in Stonks. So, with this, I would not be surprised if Tier Element came back, if other Graveyard deck came back. I was surprised to see that Shifter wasn't impacted at all, that there was no other impacts, for instance, Fenrir. Fenrir is still at 3. And literally, that was the only ban. And to be honest, that's kind of fair, because this format, barring cash, has been quite okay, you know, fairly balanced. There's new things happening, for instance, Unchained is now big talk of the week. And what was it, Marionetta Might. Um, so I think overall that barring cash, the meta was kind of healthy in itself. And then we're going to limits, Bestial Magnemut. Um, I'm genuinely not surprised about this. I would prefer to keep it at two or three, but I can definitely understand why. Um, this is a big tool for, well, an indirect tool for Branded, but also a pretty big tool for Dragon Link. Um, and this was probably just a world's hit, if anything, seeing, you know, Dragon Link win worlds in 2023. It, it probably had to get hit as a result. It was Calamity. Not King Calamity, just Calamity. Speaking of, Calamity wasn't banned at all. And then finally, we have Chaos Space. Um, I welcome this, heartily, because this is, for Dragon Link, this was a search for whatever they wanted. Not only a search, but an extender, because you put something in the grave that probably wants to be in the grave anyway. You search something that can maybe banish from the graveyard, like, you know, the baby dragons. Um, so I'm happy to see that at 3. It is a consistency hit, not a power hit. Um, that's something to consider when you're hitting decks. But I, I think this is a good hit. I think it's welcome. And that's all the limits. So, in Konami's opinion, they're probably thinking, you know, the meta is kind of healthy. Um, they didn't ban, like, Eradicator or anything like that. Nothing in the semi-limits. Oh, you know, Cashier Unicorn still semi-limited. Pot of Desires is still... And then finally, we just get Herald of Orange Light 2, 3, and Salamand Great Gazelle to 3. Um, with Gazelle at 3, I think Gazelle's probably Salamand Great's most important card. We could potentially see the rise again of Salamand Great. Um, I don't really know what they do these days, but it'll be fun to find out. Overall, I think while the ban list was small, it it did it did what it'd have to do. It's probably to the point that Kashira will be tier 2 at most, or Rogue, and yeah, that's pretty much about it, um, guys, thank you so much, I'll catch you on the next one, if you do enjoy the content, please remember to like, follow, and subscribe.